Hi you guys, welcome to another whole group reading lesson. We are still in unit six, week one, and we are going to be doing day three of this week. So let's go ahead and get started. We are still working on our spoon card. What is the name of this card? Spoon, very good. And the sound that it makes is? Ooh, awesome. And let's say all those spellings together because there's so many, ready? O, O, U, consonant E, U, consonant E, W, U, E, O, U, U, I. Very good. Here are some words that we have read throughout this week. Now, some of them have that O, O spelling, which is what we did on Monday. Some of them have that O, U, and U, consonant E spelling, which is what we did on Tuesday. Today, we are going to be adding in the E, W, consonant E, W, and the U, I spellings. So, we are going to start with, let's start with the second line of words. So that starts with L-O-O-P. And we're going to read from left to right. Let's read those four words in that line. Ready? Loop. Cool. Boom. Zoom. Very good. Now let's skip down two lines to the one that has S-O-U-P. And let's read those four words. Ready? Soup. Tune. Rude. You. Very good. Now, let's read the bottom four words. Ready? New, juice, blue, fruit. Very good reading. Here is one of our sight words. Now, remember, you can write this in the air. You can do baby shark. You can do the volcano. You can jump up and down for each letter. Whatever you would like, as long as you're moving while you're spelling it. Let's first read the word. What is it? Answer. Very good. Let's spell it. A-N-S-W-E-R. Answer. And let's read that sentence. There is always an answer to a question. Let's look at the next word. What is this word? Rot. Very good. Spell it. B-R-O-U-G-H-T. Rot. And let's read the sentence. My mom brought me some food to eat. What's this word? Busy. Very good. Let's spell it. B-U-S-Y. Busy. And the sentence. The last month of school is going to be busy. Let's read this word. Door. And spell it. D-O-O-R. Door. Let's read the sentence. Would you please shut the door? Let's read this word. What is it? Enough. Very good. Spell it. E-N-O-U-G-H. Enough. And let's read the sentence. I have had enough of the rainy weather. And what is this word? Eyes. Very good. Spell it. E-Y-E-S eyes. And the sentence, what color are your eyes? Here are some words from this week's story. So let's go ahead and start on the top line and we're going to read from left to right, top to bottom. Ready? Let's read together. Blue, fruit, crew. Next line. Fruity, drew, juice. Next line down. Lewis, suitcase. Ah, give yourself a high five. That was awesome. Here are the phrases from our story for today. Remember, we're doing a new story each day, Monday through Thursday. So we're going to start on the left-hand side, reading from top to bottom, and then we'll move over to the right-hand side. So we're going to start with the phrase that starts with Lewis felt. Ready? Lewis felt sad. Moving down. A can of fruit juice. A crew came in. The fruity stain. Now go ahead and move over to the other side. And let's read those ones together. Ready? His new suit. Blew it from. Lewis helps the crew. Brought a suitcase. Good reading, my friends. Here are some of our sentences from our story for today. Go ahead and look at that first one on top. Read it to yourself for just a second. 
and let's read it together. Ready? Now, Lewis helps the crew, and the crew helps Lewis. All right, look at that bottom sentence. Read it to yourself, and let's read it together. Lewis closed his eyes and wished for the suit to get clean. Hmm. Here is our story for today. It is called Lewis and His New Suit. We're going to read this story together, starting with the title and going all the way to the bottom of the page. And I know you got this, so take a nice deep breath and sit up nice and tall, ready to read. Let's do it. Lewis and His New Suit. Lewis was a boy who liked to work alone. He thought he had the right answers. Lewis did not want help from any pals. One day, Lewis had his new suit with him. He sat to drink a can of fruit juice. A big wind blew it from his hand and it got on his suit. What a mess. Lewis closed his eyes and wished for the suit to get clean. It did not work. Lewis felt sad enough to cry. Lewis went home. He did not have a good plan. Just then, there was a noise at his door. When Lewis opened it, a crew came in. The crew brought a suitcase filled with things to clean the suit. Soon, the fruity stain was clean. Lewis had a big grin on his face. Now, Lewis helps the crew, and the crew helps Lewis. They drew up a plan to make things work. Lewis helps the crew even if he is very busy. The crew makes the time for Lewis. It's a good plan. You guys give yourself a high five. That was a lot and you did awesome. We are going to review our suffixes, which are word endings uh, of full and less. So remember that the suffix full means full or full of and so in this case, with our words in the box, we have the word spoon. If I add full to the end of spoon, so spoonful, that means it's a spoon that is full of. So for example, if you think of the song from Mary Poppins, a spoonful of sugar, it is a spoon that is full of sugar. Now remember that the suffix less means without. So in the box, I have the word cloud and then I have the word cloudless. Cloudless means that it is without clouds. That is it for another whole group reading lesson, my friends. You did amazing. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and I will be back soon with another whole group reading lesson. Great reading, friends.